Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Alex Hale. Um, if you would meet me in public, you probably would never guess by just talking to me. Uh, I'm actually on the autism spectrum. I was diagnosed at the age of six uh, to be Asperger's syndrome. Uh, I also have bipolar, um, a lot of other things. But uh, I gotta tell you, it's been a long and winding road, uh, to say the least, to be where I am today. Um, a lot of struggles, a lot of uh, a lot of challenges along the way. What I'm here to talk about is autism awareness. A lot of people don't understand what autism is. The media incorrectly talks about it. They put it in a negative light. Um, my mission is called My I'm Possible Dream. Now a lot of people, when you look at that word impossible, what does it really mean? Put a line between the M and the P and what does that really say? I'm possible. But I came up with a new one this week actually. And they talk about this other word associated with autism called disability. And I thought about that again. And they said to me when I was a kid, well, Alex, you have a disability. No, disability really means this ability. The question is, can you reach that ability? Are you willing to reach that ability? My entire life, I have been striving to become a musician or a sports talk show host, one of the two. I'm on the verge of doing one or the other. I do have my own online sports talk show where I talk sports all the time. In fact, I talk about LeBron returning to Cleveland, which, uh, according, to, uh, which according to inside sources, um, Cleveland, it's a done deal. I didn't say anything. Um, don't get your hopes up. I'm not buying that for one second. Until he says I'm back, I'm not buying it. I'm not going to get hook, line, and sinker like last time. And I haven't pulled out my jersey yet. I'm not one of those people that burn my jersey. Okay. <laughs> As you can tell, when I speak, I like to throw in some comedy in there a little bit. And I know the LeBron topic's a little bit of a hot thing, so throw a little comedy in there. Um, but the music, uh, what I'm doing with my I'm Possible Dream is creating an album. The thing is, is that I need funding for it and we're doing a GoFundMe project. Now, the goal is 47,000. Now, what is that going to cover? I know it's a lot of money. People are thinking, oh my goodness, that's a lot of money, Alex. Here's what it covers. It covers writing the stuff, finding the bands, getting the studio time, flying into New York to do this, everything. We are starting from scratch. My uncle is a three-time Grammy-winning producer who's worked with the likes of Tony Bennett, with Ray Charles. In fact, he was the last producer to ever work with Ray Charles on the last song he ever did on Genius Loves Company. One week before Ray Charles passed away, my uncle was the last man to work with him. That's the greatest honor he's ever had. Two of his Grammys are for that album. One of them that I've held that says Album of the Year. Biggest honor of my life. But I want one of my own that says Album of the Year. Um, and that's a joke I throw around with my uncle. When's your fourth one going to be? And he says, my fourth Grammy is going to be with you. And that's our goal. We're going to work on it together. But the album that I'm creating is not about me. And the money that we raised from it is not going to me. The money that we do raise from this at the end goes back to Autism Speaks. Why Autism Speaks? They gave me my opportunity. I work for their Northeast Ohio chapter board as their entertainment chair for their walk September 14th. I've organized all the entertainment this year and it's already been booked. I'm very excited about it. Um, and with all this, they gave me an opportunity to be who I really am. Just someone who has a chance to be a normal human being. Because when the media looks at autism, they say, you can't do anything. You are, and I hate to say this word, and I don't want anyone to really ever say this word, retarded. That, that is not a word in my dictionary at all, and it shouldn't be in anybody's dictionary because that's an insult. And what I think people need to start realizing is that autism is not a mental disorder. 
It's not even that. It's a social disorder. Look at all the symptoms. Bad eye contact. We have our own way of saying things. The way we interact with people is different. It's a social disorder. Think about it. It's a matter of do we communicate with others? People who have been in the news for sad things that have happened that have been on the autism spectrum. Those people had no social life, no people that were supporting them. I've been blessed to have a family who does support me. I've been blessed to have friends who do support my initiative and Autism Speaks. So I've been lucky to have that. Some people don't. And that also goes back to the problem of people don't understand autism. And that's what this whole mission is about. Again, the album that I do, that I raise all this money for, and that we sell back to people, and again, it's on GoFundMe.com, and you look up Alex Hale, My I Impossible Dream, and again, you can put in a dollar, you can put in whatever you want for it. If we got one dollar from everybody at one of the walks that I was invited to, which was LA, unfortunately I was unable to go. If I got one dollar from every person in LA, I would have been $7,000 short. They have 40,000 people there. I performed in front of 25,000 people at Soldier Field. If I got one dollar from all those people at that walk, I would have been way over. So even if it's a dollar, it goes a long way. There are so many people that are touched by it and so many people that aren't touched by it and even more so, people who don't even know they're touched by it. One in 68 are diagnosed on the spectrum. The numbers just went up this year and they're still going up because we're still learning the wide spectrum that it is. You have, yes, the low functioning, but you wanna know what? They still have a life, they still got a future. Again, impossible means I'm possible. You have the high functioning. I'm blessed to say I am high functioning. But you do have the wide spectrum from here to here. It's even bigger than that. It could span the globe. And in a lot of ways, everybody is different. One of the things I like to say is, is that if you have your own little, if you don't have any quirks at all, Seriously, raise your hand. If you don't have any quirks, raise your hand. Nobody's raising their hand. Gee, I guess we're all different. Isn't that what makes the world great? We're all different in our own way? That's the beautiful thing about life. We're all unique. Why isn't autism respected? Why can't we be ourselves? That's what my mission's about. That's why I go from place to place speaking about it. It ain't about me. My whole thing is not about me. Would I like to do great things on my own? Absolutely, who wouldn't? Would I like to be a big music star in Hollywood? Who wouldn't? I mean, if I said I wouldn't want to become a celebrity, I'd be lying. So I'm not gonna lie to people, but that isn't what I'm about. I'm about finding the next Alex Hale or the next person who's gonna do great things. That's what my impossible dream is about. To find that one person who doesn't have that support system or have that role model to see me and say, gee, look at Alex Hale, look what he did. He was told in sixth grade by a psychiatrist who works at a very reputable place, which I will not name out of respect, that you will never graduate high school without assistance, forget about college, you'll never go there. And they told me to look outside the door and they say, you see this person outside the door mopping the floor? That's you for the rest of your life living in a halfway house. I looked at this person, I said, yeah, sure, you're wrong, I'm gonna prove you wrong. And I've done that to this point. I don't want that diagnosis for anyone ever again. That's what I'm here for. That's why I speak. That's why I do everything that I do. And I hope you guys can join me on my mission to show that impossible means I'm possible. Say that with me, everybody. Impossible means I'm possible. And what's the other one? Disability means this ability. Nothing is unachievable. I'm living proof of that.
I can tell you that much. Now, my mother, come here. Come here. She's my manager. Now, I gotta tell you, I don't know where I'd be without her. She's put up with so much. Enter your own word in here. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna say out of respect that she deserves some credit. No, a lot of the credit. No, 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 all the credit. <laughs> so, Mom, do you have anything else you feel that you should add that these people should know? The only thing that I want to add is that when you have a child or a family member on the spectrum, you too have a different life. And it's up to the family and friends to embrace you and start to understand that your life is different as well. So don't leave people out. Be aware of what's going on around you. And like Alex said, when he was first diagnosed, it was one out of 150. Today, the diagnosis is one out of 68. It's growing. But Autism Speaks is out there researching, trying to find answers. So we ask you, join us in any way that you can, even if it means becoming aware of autism. And we thank you. There's one last thing I do want to add. I do want to add one last thing. If they ever ask me, Alex, we have the cure for autism. It's in this little pill. All you need to do is take it, and you're cured. You're perfectly fine. I would never take it. They could hand it to me, but I'd toss it right in the trash. One of my favorite songs is Being Green. What does Kermit the Frog say at the end? I think it's what I want to be. For years I always thought was this was a curse. It was nothing more than a gift. So I'm going to use it. And I hope you guys can join me on my mission. Thank you.